Hi everybody and welcome back to Relax My Dog. Now today me and Milo are going to be talking about house plants that are toxic for your dog. Obviously in our homes we love to have a variety of different plants but we need to make sure we are careful of ones that we keep well away from dogs, ones that dogs are allowed to go near and ones that are completely toxic for dogs. So that's what we're going to be focusing on in today's video. So if you do want to have a lot of plants in your house but you also want to have dogs as well, this video is definitely for you. And again, I learn quite a bit from this video just from doing my research. So let's get started. Before we do begin, let me know down below in the comments, do you know anything about house plants and dogs and what shouldn't go together? Let me know in the comments. So I'm not going to go into massive depth with each house plant because I don't want it to be too long but I'm just going to try and list them off and give you a little little bit about each plant and why they shouldn't be with the dog. So the first one is obviously the lily. I feel like the lily is the most popular flower or plant that people know need to stay away from dogs. I've known that for years. It's actually the in the in the lily there's like the leaves and then there's the little bits in the middle. They are poisonous to dogs so that's the main reason and they do eventually drop off I think and um, and if a dog eats that it can be really, really toxic for them so just keep that away from them. The second house plant is aloe vera. I know a lot of people don't choose to have aloe vera specifically in their house but you might have aloe vera gels or anything like that. However if you do decide to have aloe vera house plant in your house try and keep this as far away from your dog as possible because again this is a toxic house plant now we've all heard of poison ivy and that can be extremely dangerous for anybody but even regular ivy that you can have in your house or in your back garden can be extremely dangerous for a dog if your dog decides to eat a leaf of an ivy they can actually go into a coma at worst circumstances they can have breathing problems just stay well clear of this we've actually got some ivy at the front of our house but it's sort of on our house so milo doesn't really get access to that at all plus it's a little bit too tall for him anyway so thankfully he stays well clear of it but if you have a dog that likes to venture out or eat plants stay well away from the ivy those three are sort of the main ones that we have here in the uk anyway and um, so if you do want to have any other house plants definitely do research as to whether they are dog friendly or not you might be surprised with the results because even ivy you would have thought that was fine because you see it everywhere but in fact it can actually be rather dangerous for a dog so definitely do your research if you would like me to do a more in-depth video on a particular house plants let me know down below in the comments and i would definitely do that for you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you would like to. I'm me and Milo. We'll see you next week for next week's video. Bye.